Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of A Game and a Chair brought to you by the American Civil War Gaming Club. My name is Blake, I'm the host here on this show, and this is a special edition that I'm putting out there for everybody because there is a new version of the WDS Civil War series, version 4.05, which was just released. And some context for people watching this in the future, it is December of 2023. And I'm sure a lot of people out there are thinking that it seems really soon to be having a new update for these games, considering the last one occurred just a month or two ago. But I actually think we should give credit to WDS for continuing their excellent work, being responsive to their customers, and really striving to continue to make these games as best as they can possibly be. So thank you WDS for continuing all the work that you guys do on these Civil War games. It is very much appreciated. Now there weren't too many changes with version 4.05, but the changes that there are, they're pretty interesting and they are definitely worth noting. So let's get into it now. So the first thing that WDS did was to add an optional rule, Limited Artillery Unlimber, to control the restrictions added in version 4.04. And this is incredibly important to understand and to recognize. One of the things with version 4.04 was that they added this rule. They adjusted it so that artillery could not unlimber within forests or villages unless they had a clear field of fire in any direction. And obviously there were some issues with this rule because it only makes sense in some cases, but not necessarily in others. It also made pre-existing scenarios that were developed years ago, especially in heavily wooded areas like Shiloh and Chickamauga and the wilderness, they just played incredibly different than they traditionally did. This rule being hardwired into the games was creating some problems with gameplay issues. And I think we just have to say thank you to WDS for listening to feedback and for recognizing that although this rule does make sense on paper, in practice, it probably doesn't really work all that well in these Civil War games. You have 15 different titles that were released before this rule ever became a thing. And when you go back to play at places like Stones River or Chickamauga or Shiloh or anywhere with a large amount of woods on the battlefield, it makes it incredibly difficult to use your artillery. And in reality, soldiers in the Civil War and their artillerymen, they would set up their guns wherever they needed to in order to kill the enemy. If the enemy is coming through the woods, you don't leave your guns limbered because, well, there's no room to unlimber. You unlimber them and you do the best you can. So the rule that limited artillery from being unlimbered in the woods, it just didn't quite make a lot of sense. That being said, I am sure there are still some people that might like this rule, and they have the option now of using it if they want to, but I think also a lot of people who maybe did not like this rule when it came out at least now have the option to turn it off. So really just thank you to WDS for listening to the feedback and addressing this so quickly. We really do appreciate you guys always staying on top of things. Now another change with this version is that they added a reachable hexes button and they removed the supply sources button from the toolbars. So let's go ahead and take a look at that in the actual game itself. All right, on the screen now I have version 4.04 on the left hand side and the new version, version 4.05 on the right hand side. So the difference here is pretty minimal as far as the appearance goes. Up here on the left you will see there's only two yellow buttons here, but over on the right hand side with the new version there is a reachable hexes button that you can click. When you do that you will notice that whenever you highlight a unit it will automatically show you their reachable hexes. Version 4.04 on the left did not have that easy use button. So that is just something really quick and easy that people can use to quickly identify how far they can move with their different units. If you want to turn that feature off, you just come right back up here and click on reachable hexes again. 
All right, so they also removed the supply sources button from the toolbar. I didn't even bother showing you that because it was one of those buttons that I'm pretty sure not a single person used and so its loss definitely won't even be noticed. Let's go ahead and continue to talk about other changes with version 4.05. One other thing that they did was they added a default button to the optional rules dialog as well as tooltips for each selection. This is really cool and I'm really glad that WDS did this. Let me show you how this is going to look. All right, this is the scenario selection dialog box that you always see whenever you begin a new game. And moving forward now, when you click on rules to select your optional rules, you're going to have this box pop up. Now this obviously looks familiar. What doesn't look familiar is this default button right here. Now when you click it, what it's going to do is, for some reason, it will default to these four optional rules. Now WDS is not saying that these are the four optional rules that you should use. These are just the rules that they have set as the default rules. Now I don't know of anybody that's ever played with just these rules selected, so I'm not really sure why the default button is there if I'm just being honest. But what I really think is cool and what I'm sure everyone is really going to appreciate moving forward is this. Now when you hover on the different rules, it will tell you a really brief description about what they do. And this is huge because in the past, people have always had to go to the training academy or email a friend to try to figure out what all these different optional rules do. And it can be really hard even for me to remember what all these different optional rules do off the top of my head. But with this new tooltip feature, you can just really quickly hover over any of these optional rules and it will give you a description about what they do. So I wanna give credit to WDS here. This is a great little thing that they did. It seems so obvious to do in hindsight, but it just never been done before. So excellent work, WDS, I do appreciate it. With the default button, I'm not really understanding its purpose, but I guess it doesn't really hurt anything, so why not? All right, well, those are the only real changes worth talking about here with version 4.05, but I do wanna to touch upon one more change that they made, and it's actually a bug fix, and it only pertains to games played against the computer AI. So if you're playing another human, this has no effect on you, but if you're playing against the computer, this will affect you. So they fixed a bug where the AI movement stopped upon receiving opportunity fire. Now, this is something that I noticed whenever I played against the computer when I was testing new game ideas. And the computer would stop moving their troops once they received opportunity fire. And it made the computer, which I think is already, I'm being perfectly honest, not that intelligent, it made them even stupider. Fixing this bug should make the AI at least a little bit better when it comes to playing these games. Are they going to be as good as a human? Definitely not. But at least they aren't going to just stop in the middle of a field and cease all movement upon receiving opportunity fire. So good job again by WDS to fix this bug. Alright everyone, thank you for watching. I always appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like on here and also subscribe. If you appreciate all the videos that the American Civil War Gaming Club is doing and you want to stay on top of not just what we're doing in our club but what WDS is doing with their Civil War games, subscribe. Continue to check us out. If you aren't already in our club, join. It's free to join. We have lots of fun. There is no greater challenge than playing against a human with these wonderful WDS Civil War games. All right, everybody, my name is Blake, and until next time, just remember, keep gaming.